Hello everybody and welcome to another Warframe banger of a video. This one has been requested by quite a few of my subscribers, fans, viewers, etc. Via Twitter, email, comment section. Not entirely sure why because I don't tend to do this type of content, but apparently it's pretty goddamn popular. So today we're going to be doing some React content. Yay! Let's go! So we're going to be reacting to all the Warframe Prime trailers. I've never watched these. I don't know what they're about. I don't know what's in them. I don't know anything about the Prime Warframes particularly. Um, or what they're about. So, this is going to be a very sort of virgin perspective on the primes and we're taking a look at them and giving you my thoughts and feelings on these trailers so without further ado oh and just before we get into this if you like today's video give it a thumbs up if you dislike today's video give it a thumbs down drop me a comment below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the post notification bell especially the one with all written next to it as the personalized bell will not ensure that you get told when my future content is out and uh we're celebrating 1000 subscribers currently and we're on the push to 2k so let's get into this so the first one we're watching this is no particular order i've found a playlist and we're just going to watch it so this is in no particular order they might be in the wrong order they might be back to front side to middle no idea we're just going to watch these so the first one here is warframe Darren Prime, we're going to check this out now. Let's -a go. So, very samurai looking Prime. Your winter ashes, there has sprung a field of flowers. Conceived by clearly a female loving the helmet for deadly purpose. So, the lotus. Flower design bathed in gold and solemn blue. Oh, very nice. The jump's very samurai s from the spores and the ruin. It came to me like a proverb, fight poison with poison. It looks like she's got some sort of poison ability. Eh? Cure this sick horde with the greatest of plagues. I will call her. Siren. Siren Prime. So that was our first one out of the way. Very interesting there. Kind of a samurai aesthetic with sort of the flowery lotus-esque design. I noticed the way that the poison was being cast was sort of like when the samurais used to drink the sake back in the old times and it was set in a wood. It was clearly sort of samurai inspired love the color scheme and i love the helmet especially like the one piece design which looks sort of like a fencing mask obviously with a screen over so yeah i was very very impressed by that so the second one we're going to be checking out is vobon vibin valben i'm just i'm really bad with names vobon prime okay so you're going to be checking out the old vobon prime here and as always, blood and gore, violence, rated 17 plus, M for mature. All you younguns out there, shut your eyes and don't be watching this. All right, let's go. It was my sin, but greed is the blight. So we've got the same voiceover again, corpus in the background. These industrialists have gorged on the harvest of our long war. They're mind drones. Are they the carpus? Yeah, I think they are called carpus, right? Toil in foundries remote. I get confused with the factions sometimes. For what purpose? I'm loving the heartbeat. Set watch upon them. Oh wow! Beating our snares with the worms of profit. Very dark souls inspired. Very dark souls inspired. With the Batman, the Batman crouch on the rooftop drop a 
Ooh, I'm getting some weird vibes off this one. Those kneeling at the altar of commerce will be returned to the void. So I'm getting inspirations from Matrix and Neo, Batman. Uh, the aesthetic, I'm getting very Dark Souls vibes. Loving the colour scheme. Looks like he's got some sort of kinetic For grenade. Your consideration. For your consideration. Vorban. Vorban. Yeah, I like that one. Got a mixture of a lot of different aspects that I like. Very, very nice. Moving on to Necros Prime. Fear is a weed sneaking in the dark. Okay. Oh, this one looks interesting. It finds within the mind, corrupting it. Mm, this one looks a little bit different, actually. A little bit of a hunter aesthetic. It germinates within tribes. A little bit rogue. A little bit of like a, a dark assassin type we aesthetic going on. Have forgotten the simple power of fear. Let us now remember. Oh, this one looks very interesting. Sort of a bit of a xenomorph, sort of more agile predator hunter, stroke assassin. Looks like he's got some sort of toxin. Ability. You will find no greater power. Oh, I like the look of this one. Than the simple thought of your own name inscribed upon a grave. Our harbinger. Our terror. Yeah, harbinger. Yeah. Necros. Necros, yeah, definitely. Like it like a Sort of an, an evil assassin taking people to the dark side. Beautiful. So this one's for Valkyrie Prime. Has left us numb. Our wasted animal within, ugly and gaunt, hibernates beneath our shimmering beauty. Sort of a Freyard Winter Huntress, so. by the looks of it. Oh, yeah. Lost instincts. I really think they handle the themes really well with these characters. Just. Cursed and hunted as game. Trapped and tortured. Yet they remain. Definitely like a hunter, ball master. I'm getting Legolas vibes. Oh shit, Wolverine, baby. Wow. Let's go. I like the look of this one. Mmm. Oh yeah. Definitely be looking into this Warframe later on. from the snare devouring a banquet of suffering obese with heat and acid and rage I'm really getting the Wolverine vibes just like a winter huntress with a bow but sort of when she gets in rage she can get in there and just go absolutely sick clearly got agility rage very fast attacks like Wolverine Animal-like movements, very feral. Not like a snow leopard. Mmm, I like it. 
I like it a lot. And that is why they will destroy us. Love it. <laughs> oh, let's go. So this one is for Banshee Prime. Like faced savages. These earthworn mules. A vast, violent ocean at our command. Yet they are only very them. short trailers, but they do actually feel longer than they are. There's a, there's, a, there's a lot going on in them. There's a lot of content skewed in. From gene mold and flock mines. Fantastic yes, graphics as well, as always. Lovely. So this one not being shown yet, I'm getting sort of like already stealth, stealth hunter vibes. Crafted without cast. Rules of the finest ore. Knew it. Slender and queer. Oh, damn. So I'm getting like stealth bounty hunter vibes. Sort of like Greedo, our Star Wars, or maybe a female Mandalorian. Sight without eye, wrath without sound. Not a soldier, loving the hang -up. but a myth. Not a warrior, a spirit. Ooh. Banshee. Banshee. I like that one. That one's really well done. The way it says Banshee at the end as well. Yeah, that was pretty cool. I'm kind of glad I reacted to these. They're pretty sick, man. So we got Mirage Prime incoming. You laughed at me. Others writhed and raged in the vice. But you... You played the fool. Oh, this one looks a bit like a jester, and or a bit like Shaco, or Shaco out of League of Legends. Oh, definitely jester inspired. A trickster, perhaps. Oh, the little a baubles. Trick. It's a jester. Oh, wow. A murderous comedy. But no one is laughing anymore. Except it you. Even got the no one's laughing anymore in there. It's definitely a jester, a ch like a trickster, deceiver, very agile. I'm getting Harley Quinn vibes for sure. Oh, that is amazing. Mirage. Oh, I like the look of her. Very, very nice, that one. Another one that I've been looking up 100%. So this is Oberon. Seduce any destruction. Even our own. We are blind to future consequence. Casting our debts on those to come. There's another... Oh, I'm getting medieval vibes. I was going to say samurai. But then I saw the sort of mace and shield. Oh, I like the look of this one. This is my type of uh, sort of warrior tank. Mmm, this looks really good. Sort of a medieval knight. Trying to, trying to save, save the land for his fur maiden. Clearly giving that tank aesthetic by him taking on sort of a big beastie one. Showing that he's agile, but not like as slick as other Warframes. Clearly got some ranged abilities, though. With the blood oh, the my God. His shield turns into a hand weapon? Holy shit. That was so good. The weapon design is just phenomenal, right? Like, that is just unreal. I never saw that coming. Oberon. Oberon the Knight, we'll call him. I love that one. That was very, very good. Another... F There's so many that I'm interested in, like... I like Oberon though, that's definitely a cool looking Warframe. So now we've got Hydroid Prime. This one's taken from Tenor Corner 2020. Fear 
to do. It's Forgive the, the quality. Decision. I have got them all the highest quality that they will go. Fights have left us distant from our baser selves. Ooh, it's underwater. Our subjects. Okay. Now the flame. What the hell? It's like a kraken. Oh my god, he's like a pirate. He's like a pirate that controls the Kraken. Upon our cloud swept oh my. Oh my god. Oh my god. Violent envy. He's a pirate. Still oh my god. The old fears. Arr, he's definitely inspired by a pirate. Look at that beard. Depth and darkness. The windless embrace. My god. Wow. Like Blackbeard, the cybernetic pirate. Oh my god, he controls water and krakens and give to fear. A form and yet not a vague height, Off to the plank. A lobed monstrosity surging from the unfathomable. Wow, that one's badass actually. Look at the look at the oh I thought I thought he was walking with a walking stick or a peg leg there. Hydroid. He's definitely designed to give that vibe. Hydroid Prime, another absolutely amazing warframe there. I'm so glad I watched these. Octavia Prime incoming. Flint on flint. Some watch the sparks. Looking like a slightly newer video this, so this could be a more modern one. Oh, I've seen one of me, one of me dojo friends using this. It makes music. Songs to oh my God! The long scream. It's like Daft Punk, like a female Daft Punk, like a techno warrior. Very music inspired. I like it. Oh, that's dope. Oh, she dances! What the hell? Oh my god. Finale. That's so cool. Octavia. Octavia Prime. Loving that one. I've seen one of my dojo friends use that and that little... I only recognise it because of the little uh, sort of rolly thing that makes music. Oh my god, she's so cool, eh? So now we have Gara Prime. Gargoyles. A void born masquerade. Gargoyles. How to honor the one who volunteered willingly. Knowing the truth. Whose little act of courage. Oh, we've got another night looking one. Like um, a little bit dark, a uh, little bit Demon Souls inspired, maybe? Oh yeah, I'm definitely getting Demon Soul vibe with the armor. Glass her for her presumption until the arch is right with laughter. So nice. So she looks like a female knight of some kind, like a visionary out of the 80s cartoon. But she also like obviously deals with glass. Got glass on the outfit as well, so it gives her a bit of elegance. Oh, I'm loving the pet as well. Prime Kavat. Wow, that Kavat looks absolutely dope. There's another very interesting looking one there. The Unbreakable Warrior. She's made of glass, but she won't break. Love it. Love it. And now we have Nidus Prime incoming for your viewing pleasure. Dream seas. For with time, these starless currents, black as morning, may work a sea change.
And if one grisly dawn the sky should hurl oh. you, herald like back to earth. Look at the little bugs. Us, foundling, of what we immaculate ones have lost. Oh wow, this is like some biotic symbiote. I'm getting venom vibes. Definitely getting symbiote vibes here. What succulent richness diseases kiss me. Abomination. Bring. My festering demigod. Like it's very at one with the biologicals. Nice. Like it, Nidus. Very unique, very original. Kind of looks like Glacius out of uh, Killer Instinct, but clearly it's sort of biological and abomination. Looks fantastic, that one, actually. Don't think I like it quite as much as the others, but very unique nonetheless. Cora Prime. I do own Cora, so I will be interested to see None what the subtle differences are here. How much I lost. So I'm instantly getting a Persian vibe right off the bat. No, by what subtle art? So with the with the uh, veil of the face, um, and the headdress, sort of a Persian sort of thing going on. Indian princess, Persian style. I shall unveil a new creation. Loving the color scheme. Of mistress. Gold and purple, and uh, the Kavat. Is it the Kavat or is it Kubra? Very Egyptian looking pet. The guns look very scarab inspired. The fighting style is very sort of Egyptian style. Female, very elegant. Very interesting. I have seen this ability. The cage. I've seen that ability in game. Very good. Unsurpassed. Blood draw in whip. Claw and fang. Akavat looks amazing. Cora. I can see why she's one of the more popular characters. Seen so many Cora primes. So now we have Revenant Prime. Straight into the action here. Wow, that was a short one. Or was it? What Intriguing. Is this? Who brings it's a little bit back to front, this one. Or like a teaser at the front, maybe. I'm getting Death Knight vibes here. Definitely got some sort of possession ability. It's like an undead knight that like resurrects people to do his bidding. A bit like Arthas out of uh, his death. World of Warcraft, King Arthas, the Lynch King, resurrected his servants to do his bidding. Beautiful colour scheme though. And they've sort of managed that sort of frost as aesthetic. But without there being much frost, this like the particle effects and stuff give Sort of that effect. This grim harbinger. This revenant. Revenant Prime. Like an evil death knight. I like that. Pretty cool. Definitely interesting designs across the board. Superb. You have faced our worst. So here we have Hildrin Prime. Whoa, this is looking like a big, a big burly woman. Interesting. Oh, she reminds me of that girl out of Overwatch. But I don't know her name. The one with the pink hair carries a big gun. 
Oh, I like the look of this one. So hear me well, Hunhau. Like a bodybuilding. Like beast of a woman. I love the helmet though. Oh my god, that helmet is so good. My stalwart. And the custom like tenor thing that flies with her. I forget the name of him. My shield maiden. Oh wow. Hildrin. Jesus Christ, see that gun. Hildrin Prime. Hildrin! That name suits her as well. She's a big bitch, man. Wow. That that looks awesome though, I've gotta be honest. Really good design. It's quite hard to pull something like that off, but they've done a really good job. So this one is for Wisp Prime. I do believe I've seen this one in game as well. Has the ability, I think, to turn into a little like Navi. Navi Wisp thing. Very mystical. A subtle sprite. Very playful, sort of furry elements to it. Yet as I reached for my savage warden. Oh what the hell? She slipped from me. Definitely sort of gave Peter Pan and Tinkerbell vibes from this one. If so Peter Pan and Tinkerbell had a gun, of course. I cast her in flesh. Love love the way it floats Heels. and flies. The hooded helmet as well. Nice touch. We saw the Loki horns on top. Let her be real. Mixed with an Iron Man laser out of the hand. <laughs> like, like this one's a real weird mix, but it kind of works. Fugitive form. Very strange mix of elegance, sort of Peter Pan with a gun, Tinkerbell, Iron Man. Loki. Really weird character, but very, very intriguing. Mmm, Wish Prime. This is going to cause me so many problems. I'm going to want all these characters. Oh, guys, what are you doing to me? So this is for Grendel Prime. Whisper that my Warframes are too genteel. Kind of getting sort of Very well. Middle Ages. Away with chivalry. Sort of uh, Let us fantasy style. Monsters. Holy moly! What the, the is this? Club and belly. What I'm the hell? Smoke. Jesus. It's like stitches out of, um, out of Heroes of the Storm. Or Pudge. Is it called Pudge or something? That hooks people in. Not even the biggest fan of this one, but... I definitely think it's a good design. What you ordered. We are not done. It's like a mirage tank walking, like eats you with its stomach. It's like more focused on its face being its stomach. What the hell? Lightning to his gastric thunder. The livid energy. What the hell is going on here? Wow. Forgotten gods. So I'm definitely getting quick silver vibes with this one. The so witch is Grendel Prime then. This totally reminds me of Quicksilver out of the X-Men. Which if anyone that doesn't know is Magneto's done in the X-Men extended universe. Magneto had a child who was Quicksilver. And the inescapable. 
There must be no more talk of defeat. Even does the Sebs, the Sebs sort of uh, opening that Quicksilver does in all the comics, like the, the ready, set, go. Oink. For thankless eyes shall be seared blind. Dude, is this a video for two, or does he transform or something, or? Oh, that's Gauss Prime. So what happened to the last, uh, the last one then? That must be a really short trailer for Grendel, and then Gauss Prime just came straight in. Oh, okay. Why well, it seemed like the same video, like it happens so fast. The hell? It's Grendel and Gauss Prime. So I don't think we watched the Grendel one properly. So let's just just rewatch it and make sure. Oh right, so you can go into a ball as well. Oh that's interesting. I spread for you a cannibal feast. A toast to the valor of mere appetite. You tremble. But the so clearly it's hard to skip forward or we missed a little bit. So I remember that part. You birthed him. In all his innocent obscenity. So definitely like Pudge. This um, is what you ordered. Grendel. Grendel's very, very unique and interesting. I would like to delve more a little bit deeper into that character. I can't decide whether I absolutely love this one or absolutely hate it. There's no middle ground with this. I'm either kind of in love with it or I kind of don't like it at all. But I can't decide which it is. It's a bit of a strange one for me, this Grendel Prime. And obviously we've seen that Ghost Prime. Which is like Quicksilver. But I do believe that that is the end of this React content. So if I have missed out any Warframes or any Prime videos, do let me know and I'm quite happy to react to them. Very, very happy with what I've saw. Some very interesting designs there. And definitely some food for thought on which ones I'm going to go for next in game. Uh, clearly a very talented team at Digital Extremes. And some of them designs are just absolutely mind-blowing. The amalgamation of ideas and how they've translated it into the Warframe universe is just mind-blowing. Uh, they've done such a superb job. The big props to those. But before we go, if you have enjoyed today's content, give it a thumbs up. If you have, if you dislike today's content, give it a thumbs down. Drop me a comment below. Let me know what you thought of the video and which Warframes I have missed out, if I've missed any at all, as um, these were all the ones that I could find. And uh, yeah, with all that out of the way, if you have loved today's content, hit that subscribe button and ring the post notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.